So let's talk a little bit about DMAIC. So DMAIC is a structured problem solving tool that we use in Six Sigma to solve really complex problems, things that are existing processes that we don't know the solution to, right? So problems in our existing processes that we don't know our solution to. Now, when we go through these DMAIC phases, what we're actually doing is we're looking at our data we're understanding where we want to go, we're knowing our baseline, we're analyzing for root causes, identifying, implementing, and validating our improvements, and we're making sure that we sustain or control those changes that we've made. So if we look at the define phase, what we might see is we might see our process as we think it is today, and we're validating with our team where we want to go. So our process today is here, our average might be there, and we wanna see it move to the left. And so then we go into our measure phase. And in our measure phase, we're not making assumptions about this data maybe that we did before to say we think this is where the data is. We're actually going out and we're getting the data to better understand what does our data actually look like today? So we know what that process baseline is. Now we already decided where we wanna see that shift to and we'll work with our customers to validate that voice of the customer or voice of the business. And then we can lay that over our data today to be able to see those upper specification limits and lower specification limits. So we're looking at those goal posts that we're trying to hit in our project against our current process. Now, in our analyze phase, we're going to look at that current process. We're going to look at those goal posts and we're going to say, why are these defects happening? So the great thing about putting these goal posts on, whether you're in the service industry or manufacturing industry, is now you can see your defects. Now you can see what is not working in your process and you can do an analysis to identify what are the root causes for why these are happening. Now when you do that or what defects might um, uh, cause, they might be costly. They might cause your customers to be sad, right? Those are some of the effects of having these defects. And so we want to reduce or eliminate those and we want to reduce and eliminate as many as possible. So we're doing this analysis to identify really those root causes. And as we move into improve, what we see is we identify those improvements, we implement those improvements and hopefully we see a change in our process so that we have fewer of these defects. You can see now those defects are really low. There's not very many of them. And that's what we wanna see. Now we're confident that we are meeting or exceeding our customers' ex expectations. And then we can move over to our control phase. Now in our control phase, we have that same data set with very few defects. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that when a defect does happen, that there's some kind of alert, some kind of way that we can address that as quickly as possible so that we don't end up coming back here or here or here, right? That we actually address those defects as they happen so we don't slip back into the old process that we were used to. And so as you go through your DMAIC project, as you work with your team, this is kind of in the background what's going on with the way that it's structured for you to move through that project, for you to be able to identify those defects that relate specifically to your customer's expectations that you've defined and achieve that goal that you set out to with the team.